Hello everyone, today's look is this bright pink springtime look. If you want to see how to recreate it, keep on watching. So first I'm going to start with my makeup setting spray by Scandinavia and just spray a couple sprays all over my face. And just dry that off. And I am going to be trying actually a new product today. I got it from Hinko Sankara and Zed. It is the Leo Ali Secret Pore Rich Balm. So just rub it all in. So to follow that up, I'm going to use a product from the same line, Leo Ellie. It is a triple solution BB cream. Um, I always see Shannon from Shanxo use it and I had to get it, so I'm excited to try it. And I hear it's a really great product. So I'll dispense a bit of that onto my fingers, dot it around my face. And I'm going to use my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush to buff that out. So with the tan that I have on, it's a little bit light for me, but I'm going to use a little bit of my Revlon Color Stay just to make it a little bit darker and give me a little bit more coverage around the middle of my face. Now that the color is matching a little bit better, I'm going to be using my Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer. And I like to take this product a little bit underneath my eyes too for my concealer. Um, it does provide a really good base, but it's also a little bit colored, so I feel like it just adds a little bit extra layer under my concealer. After you have it all blended in, I'm going to be taking Foxy from the Naked 2 palette, and I am taking my eye shading E55 brush from Sigma, and just applying it all over my lid. Once that I have that applied, I'm going to be taking my um, Inglot palette in this color right here. I'll leave it down below because I can't take it out and flip it over right now. But I'm going to take that on a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to apply it to the outside portion and just sweeping gently in on my eye socket. Do concentrate on more of the outer portion of your eye though. make a little bit of a V in the corner just to connect the color down. Just do the same on the other side. Once you have that in there, I'm going to be taking my pencil brush from Sigma and Tease from the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to be putting that more into my deeper V and deepening my crease. So right in here. Definitely want to make that V a little bit more pronounced. And again, don't bring it in too far this way. Keep it concentrated on the outer half. I'm going to use the same brush that I used to apply the Inglot color and just blend it out a little bit. Just making the colors make friends with each other. Does that make any sense? I think it does. Taking my Sigma SS275 brush and Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. I'm taking my MAC Black Track Fluid Line and a pointed small brush and I'm just going to draw on some eyeliner. For this look I'm going to be doing a bit of a flick. I'm not going to do it as thick as I generally do just because I will be doing the bright lip. I'm ready to do the flick on the outer corner. I'm just going to follow the natural line of my eyes. And then connect the two. I don't want it too big or pronounced for this look. Just a bit of one. If one flicks a little bit larger than the other, just take a Q-tip and gently underneath 
shape it the way you want it and then go back over top of it with your liner. You're not always going to get it perfect. That's why they invented Q-tips. Also to clean your ears I guess, but they work really well for makeup mistakes. Once you have your liner the way you like it, take your favorite black eyeliner and just line your upper eyelid. Next we're just going to take your eyelash curler and curl your eyelashes. I said that funny. Eyelashes. <laughs> take your favorite mascara, mine happens to be a mix of Bad Gal Lash and Dior Show, and apply it quite heavily to your lashes. And while it's still wet, I'm taking my bad gal and going right over top of it. I don't really know why I like this combination so much, but I seem to be gravitating towards it. And don't forget to coat your bottom lashes. Now the next part is totally optional as always, but I am going to be putting on a pair of the Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm in love with lashes, you guys know this, this doesn't come as any surprise. I always buy off of madamadeline.com because you can get them like in bulk for mega mega cheap. I have already done a video on how to apply lashes, so I'll link that right here and I will be right back with them on. Alright, now that those are on, I'm going to do my concealer. I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Peach and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes. I really, really like this stuff. It really counteracts the dark circles. It does a good job. When you apply anything underneath your eyes, swoop it up this way because it really creates the illusion of light along here and that's what you want to really make your cheekbones stand out and look kind of more prominent. I don't do it as much as like someone like Kim Kardashian would, but I do like the look where it is a lot lighter underneath your eyes and it kind of does the swooping up motion. I think it looks pretty anyway. And then taking my Thin Lizzy Cream Concealer and just concealing any problem spots on my, spa on my face. Ooh, I can't talk. Um, for this, I do like using a brush, and I've been using my Precision Flat Angle P88 Sigma brush. So I will just dab it on wherever I need it. And then I'm going to take my Garnier Rollerball and just do a little kind of backwards check mark <laughs> underneath my eyes. And I will blend that in with my finger. I really like this product because it does really brighten up your under eye area and it's super light and you don't like you notice that extra layer at all. Um, people ask me if this cakes or if it creases and it really truly doesn't. It, it's a really nice product. I like using it. So I like to go up into this area too and bring it down kind of into a triangle. If I have any excess, which I have a little bit excess on this side, I just do it right in the middle bridge of my nose because it really does reflect light nicely. And then I'm going to take a Q-tip and just run it along my inside waterline. And this is my little trick to help my eyeliner prevent from smudging or losing um, color intensity. It just gets rid of all the excess oil and if anything has fallen out from your top lid, it just cleans it up here. I'm taking my Benefit Eye Bright Eyeliner Pencil and just lining my bottom line with it. I want my highlight to be a little bit more pronounced in my inner corner, so I'm going to use my L'Oreal um, Highlight Color in Morning Light. And I'm just going to take that on my finger and just dab it in near my tear duct. This is one of my favorite, favorite highlighting products. And then taking my Leo Ellie Auto Eyebrow Pencil, and this is actually a new product. I've just tried it probably three times, and I really, really like it. It's almost shaped as, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm focusing, it's like a little triangle. And it really mimics your eyebrows well, and the color is perfect for my eyebrows. When I have my hair up, I like to have my eyebrows really crisp looking. I don't know if it's just because I look more put together maybe when my hair is up. I don't know. But I just like the look of it better. So that's why I'm using a pencil instead of powder. And on the other side of this handy dandy thing, there's a little spoolie. So you can just brush your eyebrows into place. I feel like when I use a pencil, I don't really need to use a gel or a wax over top because I feel like my eyebrows aren't really that unruly. So it stays pretty well. I'm going to take my Mineralized Skin and Finish from MAC in Medium Plus and I am going to take my big fluffy F30 Sigma brush and I'm just going to apply a little bit of powder on my face. Because it is a very sweaty night tonight, <laughs> I feel like that's probably a good idea. 
I'm going to take my MAC bronzing powder in golden and just a contour brush and I'm going to lightly contour some cheekbones. Then I'm going to take Benefit's Coralista and my MAC stippling brush and blush my cheeks. Oh, I have a little hair on my nose, that's nice. I like to put blush on the back part of my cheeks and then drag it forward. I feel like it blends a lot better and you can control your color a lot easier. I don't want to go too strong on blush because I will be doing a strong lip. I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and just put it on my fingers and apply it as my highlight on my cheekbones. And just bring it up towards my eye as well. Alright, for my lips, I'm going to make sure that there's nothing on them, so I'm taking just a Kleenex and wiping them. I'm taking my BYS color in fresh pink and I'm going to line and fill in my lips. Alright, now I'm taking my Chi Chi color in Valley Doll and I will be applying this just straight to my lips. I'm in love with this color. Just going to blot the middle. And I don't want to apply gloss because I'm not really wanting a glossy finish, I just want a matte finish. I'm just going to finish off by spraying another couple sprays of my Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray. Let it dry. And that is my finished look, guys. I hope you did enjoy this springtime tutorial. Super wearable for day or for night. I'm actually going out to a friends going away party right now, so it will be a very wearable look for that. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. I'm always there to talk. If you do try out this look, make sure to tweet me a photo. I will talk to you guys so, so soon. Bye!